India's maritime surveillance push gains major momentum as the Navy's Dornier aircraft undergo a significant midlife upgrade with new indigenous sensors. Led by DRDO, the upgrade adds an advanced X-band AESA radar with search and rescue capability and a next-gen electronic support measure suite for enhanced electronic intelligence. With evaluations completed and installations underway, the revamped Dorniers will greatly strengthen coastal security, reconnaissance and threat detection, integrating seamlessly with India's growing maritime surveillance assets, from P-8s to MQ-9B drones. India's air combat capabilities are set for a major leap as BDL prepares to ramp up production for a Rs 5,000 crore order of 700 Astra Mk-2 missiles. With a powerful dual-pulse motor delivering up to 200 km range, the Mk-2 is moving toward trials completion by 2026 and mass induction by financial year 27. Production will surge to 300 to 500 missiles annually, supporting future Astra Ng orders. As IAF inventories shrink, the indigenous Astra family is emerging as India's frontline air dominance weapon. In today's remote warfare era, satellite navigation has become the nerve center of global military power. Jets, missiles, and drones rely heavily on GPS, GLONASS, Galileo, and Beidou for precise long-range strikes. But as dependence grows, electronic warfare tactics like jamming, spoofing and meekening are reshaping the battlefield. Nations are now racing to secure precise positioning, navigation and timing systems, develop anti-jam and quantum navigation tech, and prepare for conflicts that may extend into space, where even civilian infrastructure could be at risk. Deep in Bengaluru, India has unveiled Kazar, a game-changing loitering munition built for silent, surgical warfare. Weighing less than a kilogram, it slips through windows, streams live video for eight minutes, and strikes with pinpoint accuracy, all under full human control. Designed for special forces and counter-terror missions, Kazar works even in GPS-denied zones, launching in seconds without sound or signature. Light, lethal, and impossibly precise, it is set to transform close-quarter engagements across every battlefield. India and the UA have launched a high-level investigation into the Tejas MK-1 crash at the Dubai Air Show, with data recorders recovered intact. A senior IAF flight safety officer joined the probe within hours, as experts from HAL, Martin Baker, Safran, and Elbit analyze over 1,200 parameters from the final moments of flight. Preliminary visuals suggest a low-altitude negative G-turn gone wrong. HAL will run parallel simulations as both nations await the precise sequence that led to the tragedy. India's Su-30 MKI Super Sukhoi upgrade has crossed a major milestone with the development of a brand new indigenous radome, custom-built to house DRDO's massive Virupaksh gallium nitride ESA radar, the most powerful fighter radar outside the U.S. After successful wind tunnel trials, the nose cone 5 now advances to full structural and electromagnetic testing. Longer, wider, and aerodynamically refined, it replaces the outdated Bars-era radome that limited performance. This breakthrough unlocks a true 4.5++ generation transformation for the Su-30 MKI, giving the IAF a decisive technological edge over regional rivals until AMCA arrives in the mid-2030s. India's aerospace propulsion push has taken a major leap as DRDO and Safran shift from an M88-based derivative to a fully new fifth-generation fighter engine with complete IPR ownership for India. Unlike earlier talks that limited India to the wet section, the new partnership covers both wet and dry sections, including turbine and high-temperature systems. Featuring variable cycle tech and advanced materials, the engine targets AMC MK1 and future platforms. With a 12-year roadmap and nine variants planned, this ground-up development aligns with Atmanur Barbarat, giving India long-term sovereignty and export freedom in next-gen propulsion. Just ahead of President Putin's December visit, Russia has unveiled its most ambitious defense proposal yet, 
Full license production of the Su 57E stealth fighter in India, complete with unrestricted technology transfer and even a two seat variant. Moscow says India would gain access to the entire fifth generation ecosystem, from engines and stealth materials to AI enabled sensors and advanced weapons. While the IAF hasn't confirmed interest, Russia hopes the offer bridges India's rising capability gap, as AMSA remains years away. Experts remain divided, some urging limited Su-57 buys, others warning the deal could risk India's homegrown AMSA program. That's all for now. Hope you like this video. Please like, share and subscribe for daily news updates. Thanks for watching.